tutorial in this tutorial we will see how we can fetch last month summary report from our transactions table example we have a table called transactions and there has four fields id amount created and modified we want to fetch our uh, summary report at corresponding uh, created date or group by created date so we will sum this amount at corresponding date so this is the uh, CAC PHP output that you are uh, seeing in here that is the created and this is the amount. So you can see the, that August has two value in here. This 200 is uh, August 10 and you can see that another value in here is also 200 and also August 10. So we will we'll sum it and we will display it in a single day. That means August 10 has 400 amount. So let's proceed in CAC PHP. So for that, I will use the CAC PHP frozen time. So I'm just typing here the use and CAC and I want um, eight n and here I'm just using the CAC PHP frozen time class. So I'm just uh, writing a simple function in transition controller that's called public function and report will be my method name and here I will just use this uh, frozen time for example I'm just debugging this frozen time and frozen time has a static method called now and if you just uh, debug and exit in here and if you just see in browser in this transactions I'm just change it to row uh, I'm just changing it to report so you will see that this actually returning a object and you can see that in time uh, it's actually returned the present time present date time in here so now if you just change a little bit in here, for example, I'm just add a function in here called start of month. Start of month, there is a function method called start of month. And if you just reload again, you will see the start of month. So we know that end of month has lots of variation. For example, February can be 28 or 9. And also others, some month can be 30 or 31 days. But frozen time will give you the actual report, a actual uh, result. For example, if you want to uh, get the end of month, uh, like using the end of, end of month method, you will see the last day of September in here. So I will just display the last uh, month summary report. So I'm just going in here and just removing this debug and I'm just taking a variable in here called target date time and you can see the frozen time now and I'm just uh, removing this one and just using the a method in here called modify and in this modify I'm just passing a string one month ago you can see the two month or three month or six month ago in here so now it will actually return the last month same date so it will return the 29 August uh, in output so if you just now write a query in here I'm just taking a variable called query and in this query I'm typing these transactions and find method and here I'm just taking this query and I'm using the select method and first I will select two field first is created and second one I will sum the amount field corresponding our date so I'm just giving here the variable name uh, or alias amount and here I'm just using here the query and there is a method called fang in CAC PHP which will allow you to use any aggregate function that MySQL has so I'm just using here the sum and 
I'm giving you my input field, sorry, the field that I wanted to sum. So transactions dot amount. And then here I'm using the where function. So in where, where function, I'm giving a condition that the uh, in condition my transactions my transactions created will be less than or um, sorry will will be greater than or equal the first date of month August so that will be the our target date time and start of month and the second thing in here it will be uh, less than or equal the end of month so it's actually first date of august and the last date of august so you can debug it uh, to see the output but uh, it will return the start of the previous month first day and I will use here the group group and the my group field will be created so it will uh, group the created field with sum of amount okay so now I am just sending this uh, query to my view so I'm just here using the this set method and giving here a variable called transactions and sending this query uh, this query I'm sending by a paginator function paginator catfish paginator method uh, paginate method so I'm using the this paginate for pagination actually so I'm using the this page in it and query and then after save if you see the output now you should see the date and total amount in here so the output in here you can see I've just used the simple I just copy and paste my index.php view in here a simple table and you can the for each and this transactions variable I just used in here and that's created I just make a format in here to display only the date and this amount that I have just used in here so it's actually displaying the created and mod amount in here so same procedure you can follow for get your last six months summary or last one year summary and you can display it in a graph or any bar chart that you if you want so this is the procedure, a simple procedure to get the summary report from, from previous month. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.